Hi, my name is Michael Miranda. This is one of my favorite instruments, the shekere or chekere or akbe. There are many names for this uh, instrument. Uh, this instrument is a calabas with a net around it. Uh, and in this net are seeds or plastic balls or wooden balls. Uh, they are wrapped in the net. Um, <clears throat> This is an uh, uh, African instrument and uh, it has many names, also many forms. This one, this is one, but I can show you another one from uh, fiber glass like this. This one is also it's the same um, with a different sound. It has a deeper tone like this. You can change the sound. And the balls here are from uh, plastic and it sounds like this. And so on. There are all kinds of different tones you can make. Like if you play with the palm of your hand, you can make the bass sound. Um, you can play with your fingers, so you only have the high sound and you can stop it uh, also with your left hand you can play and when you push it this side to this side and you push your left hand towards it you get a high sound too so you can yeah I hope you can see it okay take this one because I don't like the plastic balls <laughs> the sound of it um, <clears throat> anyway the, most of the rhythms that you play on this instrument most of the time are 6-8 rhythms but you can also play in 4-4 four, four bar you can play actually play actually play a lot of things but traditionally there are many 6-8 rhythms played on this shakiri and I will put a link in the description I've already done uh, a rhythm an, a rhythm from uh, the Yorubas it's called uh, Wiro and um, I've explained this rhythm that there, there are three different patterns for the shikere and there's a lesson you can find the link in the description okay <clears throat> let's start playing one uh, six eight rhythm um, there is a, a bell pattern that you can play and it's like this if i clap it it sounds like this one two three um, four um, one two three pa, pam, pam, and one two three pa, pam, 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 Okay, this is a, a bell pattern, 6-8 bell pattern. And you can play this with your right hand uh, with on the shikere. So if I play this, it would just sound like this. Like this, yes? But you can use your left hand too. And all the, uh, the spaces that are left in this uh, rhythm, you can fill up with your left hand. So you can play this rhythm like... So the bell pattern is still on my... Uh, on this side, <laughs> on my right hand, still the same, like yeah, and all the spaces I will play with my left hand, I push it to my left hand and I stop it with the palm of my hand so I can get an accent there too so playing like this you could see it like this it's a little bit strange playing but i hope you can uh, see what i mean uh, the same pattern you can play the second uh, beat that you play with your right hand you can give it a low tone so you play more with the palm of your hand here 
And if your calabas has a ni nice low sound, it will sound beautiful. So you can... Yeah, you can play this, uh, play this uh, bass sound. Okay, uh, that's one sound you, of one rhythm you can play. Uh, let's go to uh, a 4-4 four four bar. And let's play just uh, the campana pattern from the bongo bell. It's playing just like tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung. You can play this too. You can play it like this. What I do actually is the first note is on my right hand and I keep the calabas on this side. My right hand goes away from the calabas and pushes it back. And then my left hand is coming back, pushing it back to the first beat again. So you have and then jump and then left hand back pump, and you stop it here. To do it really slow is difficult because you need this uh, attack when I push it to my left hand when my left hand uh, is stopping the calabas then you get this sound this chuck this attack yeah so it's like this Like this. Um, when they uh, play in uh, in Brazil in Maraca Maracatu groups, sometimes they use uh, shakeres there too. They play the same this same rhythm, but instead of playing the beat constantly on my on your right hand, they change. The first one is on my, on your right hand, and then to the left, and it sounds like this. It's a different way of playing. It's like. Yeah, so the first time is towards your right hand, then left, right, and then the beat is on the left side. So you have the... Yeah, that's also a famous way of playing uh, in, uh, in Brazil. Actually, about Brazil. In Brazil, they have an instrument. It's called Chequeba. It looks like this. I will get it. Don't know if you have ever seen this. It's just a bucket with some uh, screws in it. But you play it the same way as a Chequeire. So you also play it like. Like this, you can play this and instead of a bass on the back you can play a kind of open tone sound. So you can you play like this. It's it's nice uh, you can see this in the Ache bands in uh, Bahia and nice instrument too from Brazil. Okay. Uh, the last rhythm I uh, want to show you is um, also in a 4-4 bar and it's actually in a 3-2 clave, so it's like this. You start on the first beat, just this, then the second beat of the clave, the tam pam, you play a bass with your right hand. And then you continue with the previous rhythm, which is uh, playing the bell pattern playing on the beat. So you have so first a beat without uh, the bass. The second note is loud with the bass. Then uh, 
you come here bum, 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 and then you are on the beat so you have uh, one two three four one two and three four one yeah so on the four you start with the and then towards the one so you have one two and three four one two three four one two and three four one Yeah, that's also a nice rhythm. Uh, if you know how this, uh, how it works with playing patterns with your right hand, you can also uh, play different rhythms uh, like uh, timbales rhythms, the cascara or palito. So like tam tam ta tam ta tam ta tam tam ta tam tam ta tam ta tam ta tam tam. You can also play this, and actually you just start playing first this rhythm with your right hand, like. like this and then you start using your left hand and all the open spaces you will fill it with your left hand so the pattern remains the same but it's more full yeah so you will have this one two and one two three four If you know how this principle works, you can uh, make up your own uh, patterns or use traditional patterns and translate it to the shikere. Um, <clears throat> so there are a lot of possibilities with this really nice instrument. Okay, I hope you can use this information and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!